Ela komganwa, ela komganwa, ela komganwa, ela komganwa, omaya te timpolumpo, ela komganwa, ela komganwa, ela komganwa. Burkina Faso is a former French colony that has been independent since 1960. Of its 15 million inhabitants, 50% of those are teenagers or younger. It remains one of the poorest nations in the world. We found that an adult making $3 a day supporting 11 people on that salary was considered well off and not looking for another job. Burkina Faso is also a religiously open country. We encountered no dilemma and no barriers in openly sharing our Christian beliefs. All three of these factors, a high number of children, a high degree of need, and an open door to sharing God's hope with them, have us excited to return with you. While we're there, we'll be working with children to share the love of Jesus Christ. I found some kids. It doesn't matter if you speak the language, they just follow you. So if you come here in Burkina Faso to help me, we would really love you to be involved in the children ministry. It's going to be great because many children are coming and they are not even coming by themselves. They are coming with their parents. They are going to invite their parents and they are coming to play and also watch the movie of Jesus Christ. And this is where we are going to invite them to welcome Jesus Christ in their heart. Typical outreach event looks like driving into a rural village, setting up speakers, playing music and games, which draws in children. This is quite an experience to see them come and see what all the noise is about. After a time of games, we invite them back for an evening program in which they often bring their whole family. We have puppet shows, we show them a film about Jesus, do a few dramas, deliver the truth about God in their language. It was truly beautiful to see the hope of Christ impact their lives. We're excited to share that within the two days that we did these outreaches in Africa, we saw nearly 400 people come to Christ, and most of them were children. These are formerly Muslim and animist religious people. driving through the bush on our way home from this village in the middle of the dark in the middle of the field we've got a bunch of Africans having a dance party they're yeah, just clapping yeah. and dancing in the middle of nowhere yeah. this is awesome yeah it's crazy yes. Yeah. 
said that the harvest is ready but there is not enough people to, to harvest so we are praying the Lord of the master of the harvest to bring some people so that we can harvest it and you are one of those people and we are inviting you to come 